dude. That so is, what's it cost? Yeah, my cruise. So yeah, what does it cost? I want to know. So, uh, so I, I think for eleven days, I paid like thirty-six grand, something like that. Oh boy! So it's <laughs> again, I don't. So I don't spend any money on anything other than cars and like travel. So that's my only thing. Um, I don't have any jewelry or anything. I don't have. I don't have a watch collection. Um, that's just the only thing I spend money on. And I'm like, I'm gonna splurge just this once. And now I have to do it, you know, like every year. Yeah, now you're in. You can't go uh, crazy. Now, now I'm in. I can see but, why you got for it. Dude, we were the opposite. We were like mm -hmm. cattle shoulder to shoulder doing the yes. lifeboat drills. I have this tiny room. And when you're on the Disney ship, it's like sort of kid friendly. And our kids are making friends with other kids because the ship arranges all these social things. and Cool. Mm -hmm. So their families had rooms like yours. And I am just like, like, I thought I was doing okay just being on this ship. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, like this, yeah. this boat is going to go from Florida to Spain. Like, yeah. I thought it was a pretty cool trip. But Dude, no. I was, when I went on a cruise, I, I was in a section. I don't know if I had a spot on a life raft. Like I would have <laughs> had to like hug my loved one and like stroke their hair as the water rose. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> just here nearer my god to me. Yeah. You got one of those buoys off the wall of the Long John yeah. Silvers. <laughs> I, know where I stole my plane seat, so I have that. <laughs> Ever put peanut butter on a dog's nose and then you get like it's a little it's bit torturous, going. but it's kind of funny, and they like lick the 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 thing. I want to put like a watermelon or a pumpkin on a rhinoceros' spike. Plunk that thing on there and watch him try to get the pumpkin. See, off. What you do? You take your rhino, you put the pumpkin on his snoop, and then you put him on a treadmill that powers some sort of electrical <laughs> generator. It's genius, All right? No. And he just walks and walks. He never gets the melon. Oh, yeah. People are debating if this is the best use of the final three rhinos. <laughs> they used to have, yeah, they used to have those. I think Kyle just discovered a perpetual motion. These right rhinos here. power enough the energy electricity crisis. every day to almost light this bulb. We figure after the millions we've given them, it's time they return the favor to us. And the bulb like turns a little like brownish yellow for a second. Oh, oh. No, still not enough. <laughs> Perhaps a fourth rhino would do it if only there were a fourth. <laughs> There's only three. <laughs> no, I don't care about endangered species that are like that. I think we should no, save like, as someone. much. To, nah, that's, we should save see, as that's much. Communist Taylor. If you were capitalist, if you lived in a meritocracy, you'd let these things go extinct. Yes. Okay, I'm fine with like bugs going away. Like the, <laughs> which ones? We need bees. Bees are good. And I'm which fine with like a, a terrible city? wasp. A, a wasp. All right, the wasps I'm can fine go. With that. But like, I think the white rhino is gone now, right? Isn't that the big one, the big rhino? And the well, black rhinos are almost gone? I mean, there were bigger ones before that one. We act like we're supposed to keep the exact number of animals that were here when we started counting fucking animals, I guess. I just mean like, if we like, can keep them. How is that should. the bar? Like the like, cool like, animals. Rhinos are no. awesome. What's awesome about them? They look, they're, they're, they're blind, they're stupid. You ever see an elephant bully a rhino? I saw an elephant pick up a stick and throw it at a rhino. Yeah, I have. Those are cool videos too. We should okay. have elephants. Save sit. the okay. elephants. People I'm always fine. worry about the animals going extinct, right? <laughs> oh, this thing drops off. That thing's wrong. We'll never get it back. They never talk about the new animals being created. Humans alone have added like 37 genders in my lifetime. Oh, mm -hmm. so I've far. Seen... <laughs> so, 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 37, 37 so, far. so far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that is true. Uh, I don't think we can yeah. just invent new animal species, though. Have you ever had any exotic pets? You seem like the kite that would have a cobra in a cage somewhere. Oh, man. Like if, you're, if you're normal and you have a good sense of humor, you like Dave Chappelle. Yes. He's funny. I, can't, I like Dave I, Chappelle. I do think he's peaked. I, you know, when? Yeah. I, I don't know. But I, I, mean, get, when I listen to his new stuff, I'm like, I didn't dislike Incredible. it. I just thought it was good. He's probably one of the most iconic uh, comics... Right. What yes. was the best joke from his last stand-up? I don't know. Uh, something about trans stuff? I don't know. True. Yeah, exactly. I don't remember. Exactly. I mean, that, not one of us can remember a single fair. joke. We're that's not fair. It was, it was when we were growing up years talking ago. About and we had a half hit. a dozen examples. No. Well, we'll see. That's because we're comparing the TV show that we've seen every episode of ten times to a comedy special we watched once three months ago. I, yeah. If three I thought a little bit. Yeah. Eight you months ago, up shit from like the '90s that killed, and three months ago, we're like, ah, I can't remember a single joke. 
well, well, it's kind of like, like Clayton Bixby is like ingrained in the the cultural like that's human my memory. Like that's that's he, he did set a high bar for himself. Right? Yeah, you know he, he can't, can't match he that can't every do, special. He can't do but, that show anymore. He doesn't he doesn't own the name Chappelle show. Oh well, mm-hmm. someone should give it back to him. Yeah, I don't think that w- works that way. I, I, I guess I, I can I can go along with that because I mean his capitalist was, what was fucker. <laughs> like, uh, the, his, his stand-up was pretty iconic, you know, when he did the, the thing where uh, mm-hmm. the guy was jerking off in the subway. He's like, he can't come on all of us. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess. Chappelle's still me, better than most. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, you know, well, if he I'm, released a special and Shane Gillis did today, I'd pick Shane's first. He had a Cribs episode was on the Chappelle right? show. Yeah. yeah. And, uh. He he's a uh, he he goes. Most rappers will take you and show you their closet full of sneakers. Mm-mm. He's like smoking a cigar, I think, while he does it. Got my own sweatshop. And he opens a door up and he's got all these Chinese ladies back there, like <laughs> making <laughs> shoes. He's like working these bitches twenty hours a day. And the lady goes, And he like yells back in Mandarin, And they translate with subtitles and it's like, "Get back to work or I'll burn your feet." And he goes, "Your feet!" And he makes that sizzle, "Yo, feet!" And then he goes. <laughs> I, I, she goes, oh. <laughs> like again i'm not i don't like snakes like i i, I just know the value of the, them in the ecosystem here right because we don't have rats scorpions i could do without the tarantulas dude have you ever seen a tarantula hawk yes oh, the, I saw the, the, the wasp, the wasp? Yes. with one yeah yeah yes they pair like wasps either. and then drag it to their nest yeah, they do that a lot. Wasps might be the worst thing on our planet if you think about how they live their lives and and what they're about. They're completely carnivorous. They they m- many of the species do what Richard just described, where they paralyze a specific species often. That's like the and and drag it back to their nest, lay their eggs in it, and then their larvae eat it alive from the inside out, usually, and then burst from within. And that's a big part of their life stage. It's not. It's it's and it's not like. Oh, it was either lay you in a tarantula or in a f- orange. No, they don't put- <laughs> <laughs> it was never going to be an orange. It was always going to be a poor tarantula. Um, yeah. It's uh, the we call them dirt daubers. I don't know what they're really called, but they're these wasps wasps that take mud and make these sort of um, lines mm-hmm. that they make their little colonies in. And if you've ever knocked one off your building or if you're e- the eve of your house or whatever, you'll see they're full of spiders. Who have been interred semi alive to be devoured? You, they're full of little really? spiders. Yes, and and any not just spiders, but sometimes there'll be other little like flies, like anything the wasp could capture and and like inter in there for its larvae to eat. It's terrifying. It's like something out of the worst science fiction. It's forty. Remember, we would, we'd go in the garden and we'd see all the caterpillars. Where the wasps had laid the eggs and the caterpillars and like all the scars on their backs and then like the the babies growing inside before it's just ugh. there you go yeah Matter. inside there is a hellscape you can't imagine if you're a spider <laughs> <laughs> it's Ender's a dark game. place oh Ender's game is a is a fun concept for those who don't know like like the at the end the, these children are the only are the ones to to like control the um. The sort of alien defense network and like and and uh they don't realize they think they're playing a game and it's a very structured militarized game that they're playing but they don't realize they think it's a simulation that they're like trying to figure out how to fight the enemies in the future but they're fighting the war right now so when the, they're making st- strategic choices like take having a cruiser full of humans just crash into the enemy because it gives them a quarter second more time to to charge up the weapon on a different ship and it's like that was a hundred thousand people but the kid doesn't know that he just sacrificed a hundred thousand humans he's trying to win the game um it's a it's a fun movie and it's a good book but like i said i felt like it'd be, be a good like 30 minute twilight zone episode <laughs> i knew what was going on right away if i'm being honest you you like, mentioning the tarantula hawk have you guys ever seen coyote peterson's videos the like nature guy who's like unbelievably upbeat and he lets himself get stung and bitten by the most horrid things he's been doing it for so many years and there was a a recent one that came out that had to be removed from youtube because i think it was too gory he it's like it's set up like a sketch he's like all right i'm gonna let the snapping turtle a real snapping turtle 
like bite onto the meaty part of his hand. And the plan to make sure that it didn't bite all the way through his hand was mm -hmm. to put a stick here. And so it can't bite through the stick. Now you might imagine a stick like a big old beefy dowel, <laughs> hard wood, like a baton. Steel it rod. was it was the kind of thing that like if it was the structural post for a gingerbread house, it wouldn't hold up. It was the most <laughs> it's the most it's the most laughable stick you've ever seen. And it's like taped to his wrist, so it's just kind of splayed out here. And he's like, the stick will protect me. And so he puts his hand in front of this snapping turtle. And it bites damn near clean through his hand. And immediately he's like, beforehand, he's like, and the way this, if this goes wrong, you just dump water on a snapping turtle's head that convinces it that it's now underwater and it will release. And so he immediately is bit. And is if you've seen this guy, he doesn't freak out like ever. He can be stung by the most painful bugs. And he's like, oh, that smarts. Gosh darn. And like, <laughs> He it bites clean through his hand and he's like freaking out. The camera is moving up and down because the guy's like jostling it, trying to get close. And the cameraman is panicking so much because he's bleeding so much that he's dumping the cold water on Coyote Peterson's hand instead of on the turtle's head. And so he wastes all the water <laughs> on no. this guy's hand. And he's got like like a chunk of meat that is like if the thing pulls is going to be gone from his hand. It was up on YouTube for like 20 minutes. And they removed the man. Is he? He's, I don't know where he is. He travels the world. He travels abroad he to accent? get stung. No, no, he's just a dude okay. in a cowboy hat. I like him. He makes good. I'm content. watching a video of his from eight years ago where he has the a snapping turtle, but he does safe things. He has, he has like a, a big on. chunk of yeah. meat. He has a cast to protect his hand at one point. But the turtle that he's showing, if this is the kind of turtle that he he actually let bite him, that's crazy because it's it's the that, biggest mm -hmm. meanest turtle you've ever seen. That's an alligator snapping turtle. Yeah. Uh, I, dinosaurs. We have those here, I think. Um, we call them loggerhead turtles. Again, when you're in the South, everything has a made-up name. Uh, <laughs> but, but they would be fucking huge. We'd pull them out of the cat. We'd get them out of our cat catfish pond because, you know, they, they eat the babies, I'm sure. <laughs> Man, snapping turtles are the most ornery, just shitty-looking animal. They look mad. They don't yeah. look at... Like, have you seen a box turtle? Box turtles just... Popping around, having a time. He's got friendly eyes, which is he weird does. for a reptile to a little, have. He has a grin. He's, he's yeah, like, a little, there's a little little toothless grin. A little, you don't remember Franklin from PBS? A little Franklin grin. That that uh. That I remember, turtle. Hey, Franklin. Dun, 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 dun. Jeez. Yeah. This though, demonic. Like yeah, evil. I've never seen one that that big, but I've seen them so big that it's you're 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 standing like that when you hold it like it's just like this thing is 30 or 40 pounds how long do they live i think i bet a long time yeah i wonder if it's comparable to like those uh those sea turtles there or whatever like um or that those galapagos turtles that um live for hundreds of years seemingly yeah yeah that's pretty cool they get to live oh, for wow. hundreds of years but it's like hundreds it's of years shitty. of like of what grass and laying around like being <laughs> on the bottom too. of a pond just sort of are they stupid I, I went to an aquarium recently and they had a sea turtle of some sort. And I was like, hey, are the turtles smarter than the fish? You know, like, can you, do you get any vibe? And she's like, a turtle brain is about the size of the end of your pinky. And they're no smarter than the other, like, fish, yeah. you know, sharks, whatever, swimming yeah. around. Reptiles are notoriously retarded. Like, mm -hmm. they, don't, they don't have a forebrain or a midbrain, I don't think. They're, like, all impulse. And so, like, mm. when when someone's like, my little my little pet crocodile, uh, Booby, he loves me. It's like, no, it doesn't. It quite literally doesn't have the capacity for the emotion you are willing it to express. But they have you. something. They have something, though. Like, look, Hatred, I want to be coldness. with you. <laughs> I, I want to agree with you because I like to be that, that cynical guy that's like, no, that's a monster. It will never love you. Mm -hmm. so check the monster box and move forward. <laughs> but then I see, I see TikToks and YouTube videos, and it's like... This is Arnold and the and and his alligator Terry. He's known Terry since Terry hatched from the egg. They live here in Florida and they're like in a pond, like playing together. And Terry's like being like clearly, it's not one of those playing together where a handler knows how to handle an animal. This guy's just letting the thing sneak up behind him and like nuzzle up to him and shit. Um, it looked like he had a tame gator. And then I've also seen those lizards. And I don't, there's a bunch of different kinds of lizards. So I don't fucking care. But I've seen the ones that they'll like 
scritch on the lizard and he'll respond like a cat or something sort of mm. lean and like oh yeah right there have, have like, you seen dogs with big cute. cats big cats dogs being like cougars and tigers oh, and I've seen those. yeah, yeah they get friends. along well <laughs> yeah they do like yeah that. cats are smart though so I, I i just know a tiny bit about it but apparently big cats are really skittish and bad around people and I don't know how to like fear aggression is is one of the uh, common attribute in them. So what they do is they pair it with a dog who is the opposite and it becomes a good role model. And then as the cougar, for example, grows up, it just has a little bit of dog influence in its personality, which is great for a zoo. That makes yeah. sense. If you remember the Tiger King, those um those animals had little dachshunds or something running around with them oh. like yip, 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 like chasing the lion and like licking it in the lion's mouth and chomping on its ears and this big lion is just like oh let the whole dachshund fuck it <laughs> these up. are yellow labs but yeah i can imagine that would work yeah have yeah, you yeah, seen really the videos of that. uh there's this guy and actually actually i think it's happened multiple times this one dude raised a hippo from birth <laughs> in a Africa. terrible idea yeah a hippo which is smarter than a reptile and it's like he raised this hippo for like 18 years and then one day they were going to do what they do which is fool around in the the swimming hole and the hippo like bit him in half and drowned him at the same time like just <laughs> just murdered him and it's like what did you think was going to happen moron like, I love that, know dude. Where hippos were on the how scared you should be hierarchy until like 10, 15 years ago. It was Steve Irwin. It was uh, yeah. the, the crocodile hunter. Don't they kill more people than just about anything else? Like, yeah. Snuggles, crocodiles, and alligators and whatever. He doesn't think twice of swimming underneath them and touching their bellies. He was a football field away from a hippo. And he's like, this does not feel safe. I am yeah. concerned. I don't know how to handle hippos. It's because they, they have move. like an internal map and they're, they're so fiercely territorial that even if you're that far away, they're like, that, uh, that guy, he's on my area. This is my area. The only have way to solve the one this chase is murder. A boat? Like yeah. Yes. Boat, it's like full throttle in the wake of the hippo. Yes. He's, like, <laughs> he's like, how is he Hippos going are incredibly underwater. fast in the water. They're basically yeah. aquatic Shh. animals. It's mm -hmm. scary. There's a scene in, in the movie Congo where the hippos attack, and I thought it was science fiction when I was a kid because the rest of the movie is. I think it's the Crichton <laughs> novel. You know, there's lasers and and attack gorillas and blue diamonds and shit in that movie, but the hippo shit was legit. It topples mm -hmm. the boat and eats Makimbe. Yeah, that's a problem. They we needed him. You. He knew the way. They just <laughs> they just tear you to pieces and then leave you. So yeah, they. I I have seen them also like feeding them whole melons, and I. I'd love to feed a hippo a melon. Like, I'd okay, take the risk. Okay, you're right about that. But other than that, I would like to stay far away. Have you seen the clip of the uh, the one dude an in, like, an Indian zoo slapping a hippo on the head to get it back in a cage? Have you seen that? <laughs> this this hippo was, like, trying to escape an enclosure that had a barrier that should never have been past muster for a hippo enclosure. And it, it's, like, both feet out, like, the way a dog is on, a like, those little, like, kitchen gates, like a smaller, mid-sized mm -hmm. dog. It's like that, trying to go over, and there's, like, this, I think it's in, like, fucking India, and this guard is, like, lackadaisically, like, smacking it on its, like, <laughs> hairy nose. And eventually the thing gets, like, kind of spooked enough that it's like, all right, uh, you win this round, and it goes back in the water which everyone was like, that's so well-trained, that's crazy. And I was just thinking, like, they're shocking the shit out of that thing every night or something in order for it to be that afraid of something. Like, that's like you being afraid of your yeah. Pomeranian. That might not hold up forever. I am afraid I, of that Pomeranian. It hurts. <laughs> Applebee's when I was, uh, like, early 20s. And we used to go every Tuesday. This was our ritual, me and my friends. And we only went after 10 p.m. because it was half-off appetizers. And for, like... Eight dollars, you can have two things, and you get you get like uh, a quesadilla and a you know a plate of wings, and it was great up until the point where you get massive diarrhea from that uh, quesadilla, and I all, I never <laughs> I never learned from my mistakes. It was every week. You know, on, on the dot, I would like I would rush home and then just shit my brains out. I'm like, why did I do this? My stomach hurts so bad. But your wallet's full, and your stomach is briefly full, I guess. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah, no, it's it's great, it's great, and I had I had money and everything, but it, oh my god, eight dollars like, on dinner, mm -hmm. eighty five thousand a month on the car. Yeah, there's a there's a range there. Now there is a range. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Kyle, you're on Reddit. Surely you've heard of the surge pricing controversy. I have. I saw Wendy's, Wendy's like, immediately be like, whoa, 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 we're we're not we're not doing that. 
stop, What's stop the burning place our place? restaurants down. So, so the idea was Wendy's wanted to smooth out their uh, demand. So they were going to raise prices at, say, lunch or dinner whenever they have their big spikes in business. And I guess, in theory, lower their prices at 3 p.m. or 10 p.m. or when people are eating less. Probably not. Yeah. I, mm. That's the trouble. Like, uh, Wendy was like, this has all been misunderstood. You know, this isn't some big scheme to raise our prices. But uh, was is, it? It know? is a scheme like, to raise yeah, their prices. Just, <laughs> and they framed it in the lowest IQ, dumbest possible way of, like, yeah. just frame it as... Like make a make items that are not that popular that always get added on. Make those a pittance cheaper during like lower traffic hours and frame it around that. And like yeah, they could have done that. They could, instead of saying we're raising our prices at at peak hours, they could say we're lowering our prices at off peak hours. And yeah, I don't just know. Like, yeah, apparently they're not. <laughs> so, I don't know how any. We'll just lie. <laughs> yeah, just lie about it. You Tell know, you're in marketing. They didn't teach you this. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely don't know how any fast food restaurant stays open when there's a Chick-fil-A within a mile or two of it. Yeah, because I ate true. at Chick-fil-A yeah, today better. and it was I, I, I had it delivered. It was tw it was eleven dollars like for a chicken sandwich meal and it was huge. I didn't eat the whole fucking thing. It was it was there was like chicken hanging out of both ends of the sandwich. Big, meaty, giant chicken breast like what I, I mm -hmm. Wendy's has these these dirty little like. They look frozen patties that look stamped out. Like, yeah. like, oh, this is the one that's shaped like an, a weird rectangle. Oh, okay. I've seen oh, the this is a good one. Mm -hmm. Wendy's. I, Wendy, their chicken well, you said Wendy's, you didn't pales in comparison Wendy's. to Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is so much better. It's so it, much yes. better. I yeah. want to jump in on this because I would argue that Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich, the number six, for the thing I get 90% of the time, is good enough that it belongs right there on the Chick Fil A menu. No, right? I think I don't know. No, no. Ooh. Okay, okay. I'm alone on this. I grew right up with the number no, six. Spicy. <laughs> I grew up with the number six. Right. Okay, no, I... I remember when it was like six dollars. Okay. Okay, okay. I hear. You. I love the number six. <laughs> Let me finish. Yeah. Up. For me, I think the number six is right there, adjacent to uh, a, a typical Chick Fil A sandwich. However. The experience is different. I feel like when I'm at Chick Fil A, this is like the the freaking Michelin restaurant of fast yeah, food. It the is. The people there are so sweet. Are all the girls blonde? I go to Wendy's <laughs> and I'm like, "How do you ring me up with those long fucking six inch fingernails?" Yeah, with you know? yeah. I went to, I went to, I, I went Damn, to Pop, Woody. I went to Popeyes <laughs> like Finley one month ago. Racism. Yeah, <laughs> I went to Popeyes like one month ago, and they did all but be like, "Welcome to Popeyes." Eyes, fuck you like, <laughs> like, the, like the tone in their voice i'm like like i'm i can't believe i'm being such a bother to these people <laughs> by being in the, the i'm I, I came here for food i'm i'm so I sorry for yeah. exactly for dinner, what I dinner time yeah. so one if, of the things the that's people, um not... if the people at chick-fil-a if they made it if they were like look you know i don't you may you may be familiar with their ad campaign that has the cows and they're they're yeah. writing eat more chicken yeah, if they came out with a burger restaurant and they had a whole commercial where those cows and the where the chickens were coming back on the cows and they're like, we uh -huh. got to do something about these. And and now they they got Chick Fil A burgers. I don't know what you call them, burger fillet, whatever the mm -hmm. fuck it's called. They would ruin McDonald's day because they're the same price. It's the the Big Mac is the same fucking price as that delicious spicy chicken sandwich they have at Chick Fil A. Well, they have their Big own Mac's spicy chicken sandwich, Woody. It's Big incredible. Homies. It's so good. They'll put three different kinds of fucking cheese on that bitch. They got they, they got pepper jack cheese, Woody. You can't fuck with pepper jack cheese. <laughs> Dude, they don't pepper jack, they got Colby. Yeah, they no sauces. Chick fil A. Some, I'm sorry, at uh, Wendy's sometimes. And uh, they got Asiago. The American people have never what been more that? manipulated. Cheese. The the American public has never been more manipulated and hoodwinked than by <laughs> the Big Mac. Like they yes. threw an extra yes. bun in mm -hmm. there, and people are like, "Look how tall it is." <laughs> like, it's, like, it's disgusting. It's vile. Have you ever tried to eat the just the meat patty from a Big Mac? It's it's just it's so nasty. Yeah, it is so. It doesn't taste like anything. You need to slather it in sauce. One mm -hmm. of the things that um, mm. I I look at when I think, all right, is this a good restaurant or not? Is if like you know other people from other countries when they come to America, like what do they think about you know these things? So sure. I have a bunch of people, the like friends that come from the UK. The number one thing, as soon as they land and they start getting to work, they, they're they like, we need Chick-fil-A. We absolutely need Chick-fil-A because they, they don't have it there. They have yeah. Wendy's. They have McDonald's. And they never ask for Wendy's or McDonald's. They're like, we're eating Chick-fil-A every day. 
So <laughs> it's like if world. aliens landed, they're like, this is clearly the objective yeah, truth. This is, this, is, <laughs> this is much better than all the else. Wendy's people to work camps. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not huge on conspiracy theories, but I want to know the real reason Chick-fil-A is closed on Sunday. Tell me that's not part of the fucking bit. Are you seriously respecting Jesus yes. with this decision to close Chick fil A? Who does that? Yeah. I mean, honestly. That yes. doesn't sound believable yeah, it's by, to me. It's no, their, no. their founders are crazy. Those Christian, fuckers so are doing don't. the books or fucking marketing. They're working on Sundays. I just know it. Dude, do you know how much <laughs> they money they would make if they were open the on horses. Sundays? <laughs> they would, no, they would be the genuinely... biggest post church lunch spot in the country by orders of magnitude. They, they are leaving. Tens of millions every week on the table by not being I mean, open the Sunday. And the proof of that is there for you to see, Woody. You talk about the people who, who work there, the way they look. They're more expensive. They pay their workers more. You ha If you're going to get a blonde girl with khakis who's pretty to stand outside wearing... Have you seen them outside wearing uh -huh. that, that rain outfit? Mm -hmm. So They've kissed. So, so oh. for those of you who don't have Chick-fil-A's or maybe you just don't have banging Chick-fil-A's, mm -hmm. um, here in Atlanta, home of Chick-fil-A, these pretty girls will be outside in the rain wearing this clear, like, it's not a rain coat. It's like it turns them almost into a a, 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 a kiosk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and, and they've got, and they're taking your order way out in the parking lot, 18 mm -hmm. spots away from the window. Where While the cosplaying is a condom. Yeah, yeah they're handing yes. you a fucking yeah. iPad and you're, and you're figuring everything out. And they're so polite and sweet. The whole way through, like what he said. Oh, do you need any sauces with that? Any extra sauces, or how much are they? Oh, sweetie, how many sauces you want? You're <laughs> fucking great. <laughs> Try that shit at Burger King. Have it your way, my ass. Yeah, okay? you have a it's gun kinda... in your face. Like <laughs> <laughs> we gonna have it Lashonda's way tonight. Last, no, I said I wanted ketchup. I, I wanted more than one packet. I know you, this is almost passive aggressive of you to put one packet in here. <laughs> every, every time, if I click that button for two ketchups, there's two ketchups. If I click it three fucking times, there will be three. If I order Wendy's, they'll give it to my neighbor. I swear to God. Like, uh, Chick fil A is the, is the master fucking race of, of fast food restaurants, not just chicken restaurants, all fast food. It Agreed. shits on everybody. And mm -hmm. and and um, five guys fell like they've fallen off it's, so it hard. Count. They don't. Have I time. haven't eaten. I haven't eaten there in so long because it's just so it's so unhealthy. But even Big still, calorie. they used to all. They were the ten dollar hamburger back when McDonald's was like five dollars. Now they're like that twenty five dollar hamburger. It's so that's not expensive. even that great. Yeah. So Wait, that's that's the whole meal, right? It couldn't possibly be a twenty dollar hamburger. No, I I feel like no. I think the it was like with fries, like, but it's it's yeah, it's, pricey. It's yeah, once you get fries, it's like a twenty five dollar meal. Um, to get a burger and fries, and it's just it's absurd. It's not that good. It's not that yeah. good. Yeah, they they've fallen off for sure. Hmm. Um, yeah, I've never been that an up and coming podcast. fast food restaurant. Canes, Canes is regional, but I want them on this I've side of the country of real bad. Are exactly right. It's called Raising oh, Canes. Oh, we have we have Raising Canes. Raising Canes is really good. Midwest, yeah. I think. And they're very they, similar to Chick Fil A in that they like. I think they do the peanut oil thing, so it has a similar flavor there. But you always want to go fingers like a chicken basket there. That's all they because do. They don't. Uh, they have sandwiches, but they don't have patties the way those are Chick Fil A. Yeah, they well. just put the chicken fingers on there. Yeah. So if you want the sandwich, go Chick Fil A. If you want the tendies. You can actually you can go to Chick Fil A for the tendies Chick too. They're fucking. You solid. ever had Chick Fil A nuggets? Oh I've had a million Chick Fil A oh, yeah. nuggets. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Who are you talking about every day? Yeah. <laughs> when, 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 right just now. <laughs> so like, um, they uh, their chicken is legitimately like way better. They brine it in pickle juice for mm -hmm. twenty four hours or something like that, and then the batter has um, powdered milk and powder and confectioner sugar in it. I did this copycat recipe once, and it was exactly Ooh. like Chick Fil A. It was so good. And but there yeah, have you noticed the actual pickles? Like yeah. the pickles themselves are better than the pickles you get at any other fast food place. Like you go better. to a non Chick Fil A place, and it's like, I don't even think I want tomatoes or pickles because I know a Wendy's tomato is a flavorless disc of nonsense, and I know their pickles are going to be someone back there giving me the most translucent sliver, you know, the least half a gram. Whereas Chick Fil A feels real. Feels like real pickles. I, Big up, we stand Chick Fil A on this show, big time. Yeah, I, I think uh, the the worst um, sort of uh, the worst stinginess I've ever seen was in Subway. 
Like Subway is got, got you. You order like extra meat, they will you know take out the scale, and they're like, "All right, uh, you get one. Oh, that's too much. That's a little bit too much. We're gonna put that one back, dude. If she oh, pulled yeah. some meat off my sandwich and put it back in there, I just leave. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I had I, I had a downgrade perfect, me uh, one sliver of turkey meat. It's so communist. It's, it just just feels like it is it's communism. for the collective. We need some for everybody else. Ugh. I got chilies to go right back when chilies to go was kind of a new thing and i ordered bottomless uh chips right i always bottomless chips are my reason for going to chili that's the thing i actually mm -hmm. like their salsa and the chips are warm both of them top notch so when i'm there i usually need a couple extra salsas like it's just I can, their salsas are fucking like you know that when you get ketchup at wendy's it's that size salsa roughly yeah. damn not chips, nearly bro. enough for bottomless fucking i bring chip. my own bowl right <laughs> so they give me this bag of chips large yes. enough to store two human heads and then basically a single serving of salsa so i ask for extra salsa because if i'm there it's bottomless salsa i need yeah. some extra salsas to take home with me and then she billed me for it and it was like fuck i you work here, right? You're not the owner. We right. should be on the same team. You should be hooked. Oh, do you want extra salsa? Here you go, Woody. Fucking banging salsa. You should have gotten you one of those. You know what happens if you do that? Up. The fucking <laughs> tip rolls in. You know what happens when you charge me for salsa? That was your tip. Fuck. You. <laughs> okay. All right. I would have so, said so that. that. I'd be like, oh, that extra salsa was $3, huh? Shit. Your tip was going to be $10. And now it's none. <laughs> You're actually wow. saving me. Now money. I got to stop at the store for salsa. You on the look way so home. You've given me an you errand, think man. that math works. I like this idea. <laughs> so, what do you guys um, like when you go when you guys go out to eat? Um, yeah. What are you tipping people? Like, is it is it uh, right. dependent so, on service, or is like is or do you have like a hard twenty percent? Like if twenty percent is usually what I do. If mm -hmm. they do a great job, I'll do more than that. And it, I actually like they, they'd have to at this point in time, they'd have to do a real shitty job to get less than 20, like a noticeably bad. Like we've been here for 40 minutes in my foods, like so, and they, they haven't been back to the table. Mm. I'm not as generous as Taylor, perhaps, because I don't he I, some mm. people have this thing where they're like, oh, the bare minimum is 10 percent, Kyle. If they spit in your mouth, it's 10 percent. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> I, 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 I do 20. No, then it's 20. Yeah. Then, it's, then it's 40. Then it's 40. <laughs> the minimum is we don't even pay the bill. <laughs> like, 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 like we Dying might injection. fucking run out of here and cause a scene. You're quick. Um, <laughs> if, they, if they spit in their mouth, you know what I mean? So, like, there is a zero tipping level of, of service. And it's not that hard to get below that bar where you just don't fucking get a really? tip. If you're not doing your job. Like, like it's like that uh, Mr. – I'm not so far as, like, that Mr. Pink speech from Reservoir Dogs with the little uh, violin or whatever. It's yeah, not like that. But it's she's like – She's only filled up my coffee cup three times. It should have been six. Look, yeah. I'll what say this. If I was in a restaurant – if I was in a restaurant and this had – been sitting here this long and my ice had melted that's like come on what are we doing what are we doing <laughs> like she no, I'm, I'm it's a you. busy restaurant you're like what is she hanging out back there taking a nap no she's walking the floor constantly and yet my ice has melted my glass is only one third full clearly i want some more because it's gotten kind of watery now where the mm -hmm. fuck is she she just lost it i don't think i'm tiffing her I don't think I'm tipping this place. Like, God damn, man. You guys no, are a you guys tip. Are what do you think a tip is? What I, for you? Profit. I think a tip is like you're letting everyone know, like, oh, it's implied that you get tips because that's the social construct, or or, or, or we've all we're all pay into this big wheel of the economy mm -hmm. or something. To me, the tip is that extra little bit you get when you do a very good job. It is a it is on top of whatever you get paid. I'm giving you extra because oh my goodness, really? You are friendly. I, 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 and I'll tip. I'll tip that extra service really well, 20, 30 percent, whatever. And it really do you, chip, do you like tip uh, Chick Fil A because you were just talking about how well they? Uh, yeah, they, they make below everything. minimum wage. Yeah, yeah, they make. They're shit. working for tip. These girls make shit. <laughs> <laughs> Chick Fil A is the line. Decent money, I think. Uh, yeah. I don't know what. Well, they don't really make, work. They don't tips. They don't get yeah, tips. Saying, they like should. Well, I bet. I don't know. Nothing's keeping you from not from tipping them. I bet you could fucking add a tip on that fucking iPad. Um, <laughs> I fucking hate the attitude. All right, all right. So, so I want to answer. The tip <laughs> We're right. shifting gears. First of all, <laughs> shifting gears to the tipping thing. I like this. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what I normally do, and if I have to notice standout bad service, or I just choose the right most tip. Typically, I don't give a fuck what it is. Twenty five, thirty percent. I just choose the one on the right, and I tip that. That's my standard thing. If she really sucks, then I might 
either go left or right in my own, but that's pretty rare. Um, but what does frustrate me is how everything has become a tippable service now. Yeah. Every delivery guy, and that includes like, I don't know, like grocery deliveries and shit like that. They put their palm out. Um, and then like, if you're at the counter and they hand you like a coffee at the counter, it's like, how much do you get a tip for that? I am standing at the counter getting my own food. This used not to be a tippable service. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now that's how about- tip worthy. How about I like this? It. I, I want to use your barometer in, my, in one of my instances of giving a $0 tip. I remember specifically, okay? Um, total, me and a date, total check came to like $145 or something like that. I know it was under nice $150. Place. Yeah. It's okay. Um, like it, 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 we, Better be yeah, nice. Nice place. <laughs> yeah. uh, and um, the, uh, the service was okay, but the, she didn't refill our drinks, and she brought the wrong appetizer. And it was cold when it finally got out to us. And also it came so late that our entrees came right after it. And now the pl- it was one of those places with small tables and there wasn't mm-hmm. enough room for everything. And while she was moving everything, she knocked off a candle and the wax splattered. It was a real candle. And they made a very big to do about getting that wax up. And I just wanted to eat my dinner because the appetizer was already cold. Oh, mm-hmm. and did I mention that she smelled like poo poo? Oh, she see, smelled like she that. had. Oh, yeah, she smelled like feces so strongly <laughs> that, that once we like finally that. had her manager alone, I said, ma'am, would you smell our waitress, get a good whiff of her, please, and then come back so that we can discuss further. And she came back and said, I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the waitress I, yeah. smelled like doo-doo. She, yeah. I don't know if she had shat herself or if she or had been shat upon. It. What it yeah. smelled like to me, honestly, was dog shit. It smelled like she had stepped in a big old pile of dog shit and she'd gone, oh no, it only got on my right foot. Hang oh, on. Oh no. And then she anyway. got her left foot in there. <laughs> and, then she, and then she just got, got it and like anointed herself with it like it was Isn't like it weird? lint. Every like it was fucking lint. Like, like it was too. Ass Wednesday. <laughs> it was <laughs> Ass Wednesday. That's what I mean. Yeah. What, what's Lent? Do they, they put any shit on themselves on Lent? No, that's they Ash still Wednesday. Hungry? Lent is when yeah. it's like, all right, I'm not going to fucking eat candy for a month because yeah. I'm a candy. Uh, when I give up stepping in dog shit. Yeah, oh, yeah and, that, and that's, <laughs> that's what she needed and, to give up. Yeah, and that's the sane religion, right? I, I see Biden with that shit on his head, and I was like, what the fuck, man? I, oh, I never know yeah. if he's if it's Ash Wednesday or if he's just dirty. <laughs> he's, <laughs> oh, you got a little schmutz on you again. Yeah, huh? yeah. Uh, but <laughs> but no, that waitress actually smelled like poo-poo. And That's I didn't terrible. tip her. Um, I could see not and, tipping her too. Especially, yeah. You know what? The poo thing I'm actually more forgiving of than the other stuff. No. The the appetizer that's late and cold really ruins my meal. And yeah. Uh, yeah. also the does. wax thing. I maybe I am an asshole. I don't know. But it's like I would prefer you dealt with that wax after we left. <laughs> so he does Richard, that. back on dogs. You said dogs are ranked higher than their handlers in the Correct. Army? Yes, because if it, well, all <laughs> branches of service that way, in, in the event the dog um, abuses it, uh, it's abusing it abuses his uh, rank, like makes people do too. Yeah, much yeah, it, or... it's a superior op. Yeah, and if the dog bites the uh, the handler, it's we just sweep it under the rug because that didn't happen. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, so if the dog bites someone, they tend to be very high. They they just rank the dog at the level they're allowed to bite. What am I hearing? No, 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 no. So, so say like colonels and below. Are the, yeah, the, 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 one of the military is falling to shit. Dog is one, dogs. Rank above, <laughs> one rank above the handler. So, okay. in the event that the handler neglects it, um, then that's the. the you think uh, anybody uh, ever gets called out for not saluting a dog? Probably. Like ho ho ho! <laughs> the yeah. sergeant entered the barracks, soldier. <laughs> Standard. Sorry, attention. Sergeant Wuffles. <laughs> Do not salute your this sergeant. He works for a living. <laughs> you will show the proper respect to Major Pop Tart when he enters the tent. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, to be honest, I don't know of any stories of people like not loving the dogs in their yeah. their units. Like, like I love Trump going on and on about the dog that uh, they sent after that Baghdadi guy. Oh, these beautiful dogs! These beautiful dogs. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of my favorite clips do we have Trump. the best dogs do you think well we he was the... talking about how they oh he's... dude so i think that, people need to know he was concern. screaming and crying and begging it's like jesus did they let the dogs eat him a lot process for the dogs is interesting because there's there's probably there is a very finite let's say amount of reputable um 
organizations that breed them. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and so the American or the DOD procures so many of them that it's really hard for civilians in a lot of ways to get a good dog without paying a shit ton of money, like a lot of money, just because all of those really good dogs, they're spoken for. And mm -hmm. then like the, the females, another hard thing, or at least I'm told is like, no, none of the breeders want to come off of any really good females because they want to breed them. And so, you know, there's, there's really interesting challenges. My concern is that you, you start getting these like essential puppy mills of Malinois in the U S people wanting to buy them just because they want to look cool or whatever. And it's like, mm. dude, <laughs> That's, I, uh, I don't know about, mil Malinois, I would imagine military dogs are very, so? very well trained. Um, but some of the police dogs I see, I watch a ton of police videos on this police activity channel on YouTube. I see a lot of dogs that are, that are not good at their jobs. Just like they think we're, we're playing right now and they're supposed to be attacking somebody. And they're just like <laughs> lollygagging around on the field. She's like, come what on, breed? Cobra, get him. Malinois. Oh, thank you, Zach. That's, is that what Dax look like roughly? Yeah. Similar. Yeah. Kiwi. Do you have a Malinois? Yeah. Well, uh, is it my Belgian Malinois? Is that what the full name? Is? Yeah, Belgian Mal. My uh, my pit bulls on the on the couch. I thought my Mal was oh, in you here. You have but... a pit bull. Both of my co-hosts would like to kill it. So if oh, you yeah. need that service, well, I mean, I mean, I'm sure he's got a good pit bull, and he he's is a pit bull. Uh, everyone who's ever watched him was like, "Hey, if you ever decide to get rid of him, just let mm -hmm. me know." It's like. Dude, fuck you. They're like kids. I'd never get rid of a, a dog. Like, <laughs> yeah. Richard has much more dangerous things than pit bulls. I'm okay with him owning one. It's just Richard it's, is it's so like... likable. I'm okay with it. Like, it's, 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 I, I really don't like those kinds of dogs. Richard's like, yeah, I see Richards and I'm like, we need a no, compilation of this juxtaposed against what we say when Richard isn't here. <laughs> oh, next week it's right back to it. I'll be like those fucking things. Those hellhounds. <laughs> Line them up against the wall. I gotta They're go to bullying no all the other filter. dogs. Get no, I think that like both of them filter. are such loyal dogs that the wrong people bring out the worst in them. Like, I can see how they would be really bad dogs for other people. Um, mm. But, uh, I mean, they are super loyal. They're like the Captain America serum where they just, like magnify whatever they their handler yeah. has if a dog has traps you have to be has to be trained well <laughs> like, <laughs> like they're like defined triceps ripped ripped dogs if you, just you gotta, break your knuckles trying to knock out a pit bull i just gotta i i nearly did trying to knock out my fucking knuckleheads the other day when they were fighting i was punching them in the head what do you um, i got i've got a bernie doodle it's half bernie's mountain dog half poodle uh, he's like 75, 80 pounds. He's a big goofy boy. He's a year old. Uh, I've got like a shepherd mix. She's four. Um, she's sort of the speckled thing. Um, I've got a 10 year old Malamute that I got from the shelter that they were going to kill. Uh, and, and his name's Rocky. He lives on my couch now and he gets to be outside in the cold as much as he wants. And I just bought a four, uh, just the tiniest one pound Pomeranian. Uh, the other day and what I was going to say is like it's not that pit bulls are inherently mean I don't know that breeds breeds clearly have like genetic drive to do certain things when you see a pointer point when it's six weeks old you're like okay it's just in you to do that mm -hmm. but that Pomeranian tries to bite my face every time I hold it like it is it wants to rip my lips off but it can't because it weighs two fucking pounds what are they but, ratting dogs what are they Pomeranian huh I would think it's just for aristocracy. Like it's some fancy dog for like, but, but maybe they were ratting dogs. I don't know. But I don't, I, I would, everything used to do something and have a job, but some of those breeds are ratting? just for sitting like in laps. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, like, yeah, like, like okay. rat, like terriers, like a lot of terriers are for clearing fields of infestation. I've never heard that term. Okay. Yeah. There's great videos of ratting. Um, is it minks that they use? It's something like mm -hmm. they, they use like a, a weird little critter. I think they use minks or something, um, or, or um, and and dogs, and they clear these fields of rats, and it's just rat screams everywhere because the dogs and the yeah. I can't remember what the little critter they send in after. Jack them. Russell yeah, are like rock stars at it. Yeah, hmm. yeah, yeah it's they their job. Rats. That's to end uh, dachshunds. At one point, dachshund is German for uh, badger hound, 
So they're all they're, <laughs> those weenie dogs are shaped like that to go down into a badger's hole and to give him such a hard time that he turns around and comes out the other side to you. Man, I, and uh, all that horrible back problems, little feet, just to go underground and fight a badger. I mean, you've really been are, a little cruel to dogs. We should keep thinking, what, what were pugs good for? <laughs> no, <laughs> this yeah, is honest, the worst honest, dog ever. <laughs> honestly, pugs are like a. We show that to the other dogs. We're like, see, it's not so bad, is it? <laughs> that's so, not so bad being a terrier or a pit bull. Now, now get into that hut and find the bad guys. <laughs> yeah, look at your look at your compatriot here. He needs a little uh, a CPAP mask. <laughs> they usually love. <laughs> they usually love whatever they do. Like like us pugs aside but like i don't know bird dogs when you're dove hunting with a labrador he's just like oh this is so much fun boss do i get to bring it kill another one for mm -hmm. me please can i oh. bite that guy's birds a little i won't bite him i'll just carry him he just wants <laughs> to hold that bird in it and yeah. they know not to chew it up like labradors like no not to damage the bird they'll hold it really gently but i don't know there's something yeah that's how does that work how does that genetic sort of information almost work it's you it's, just breed the behaviors in do we have anything like that besides being afraid of fucking spiders <laughs> we suck on nipples <laughs> and that's a good point fears are a, definitely a genetic trait right like something mm -hmm. something downstream snakes phobias yeah. most ph phobia i mean I, I, i'm heights i'm very afraid of heights i'm very <laughs> afraid of uh i didn't think i was afraid of snakes until i saw a real one um, but I'm afraid of snakes and then a I'm real, afraid of what, a real snake, a rattlesnake, like a big, um, diamondback rattlesnake in Texas. That one that I was going to handle that time. Um, and just like, man, you don't look like the snakes we have back, uh, back East. You, they've got little round, happy eyes and they go, <laughs> and like, <laughs> you're looking at me like, do it, motherfucker. Do it, do it, well, you <laughs> do, it heads, do it, right? You got copperheads or cotton mouse. We just, yeah, you we know, got those. Like, we exterminated those off our property to such an extent that you just, ne I never saw one after a while. Like they were all gone. We killed them all. Um, but, but yeah, I'm afraid of rattlesnakes and I'm, and I'm really afraid of spiders and I'm definitely afraid of, I don't know if it's millipedes or centipedes. I get them a bit confused, but one crawled in my bed once when I was like 11 or 12 and bit me in the ribs. And, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll always be afraid of them now. Stupid Did it whelp up? Did it hurt a lot? Did, yeah. Like what was the impact of them? It was like a bee sting. Um, oh. It just hurt and what and yeah. like woke me up and so I jumped up and freaked out. Lights on and there it is, like with all of its thousands of little legs. Did it continue around. to hurt like a bee sting does? I don't think so. Although yeah. I was like real fired up about it. There happened to be a hammer because I'd been hanging something and I pounded him into the carpet with a with a hammer. <laughs> my, 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 I think my parents came in my room because I screamed and then the lights are on and I'm pounding the floor with a with a claw hammer. <laughs> yeah. Did you get it? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> you got him. All right, justice yeah. was served. I was. It uh, probably I wouldn't have scared you that bad if you weren't in such a place of like peace and tranquility, sleeping. When I uh, when I lived in that lake house, we had problems with bugs because the doors didn't seal well, and so like there's around by the lake even there's always extra crittery things, and so there would be spiders in the house. And I was in bed with no shirt on, sort of sitting halfway up watching TV, and I looked, and there's just a big fucking spider crawling across my chest. And I, I jumped up, flicked it off, and I lost it. Oh, and no. So, and so now I have to, I'm slowly taking my entire bedroom apart, making sure that the spider isn't on it, in it, and then putting that in the safe zone over there. There's like a green zone on the other side of the bedroom where I'm putting things that don't have spiders in them for fucking sure, because I, <laughs> I made sure. And then after a while, there's very little left on the red zone side of the room. But I've got my I've got like my bug spray and I'm digging around. I'm like, well, I guess I'm gonna go to a hotel. I'm okay, not. Okay, well that's that's psychotic. You don't know the type of spider. spiders though, like like what, the difference. Between, it was like, a wolf spider. Long, like... It was like a wolf spider. Like that, like it wouldn't hurt me, but I I still don't want him living in my bed. Like like a tarantula wouldn't hurt me either. He can't live in my bed either. Yeah, a wolf this spider will bad, bite you. By the way, how bad yeah. I am. I was looking for my dog. I thought he he's like he's literally right there. <laughs> 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 dude, Good fella. No, no, dude, we got scorpions, tarantulas, like of course rattlesnakes here and everything. But fortunately, I have king snakes and uh, hognose snakes here. Now, of course, coral snakes. Where they, are you? Like, uh, Texas. It's like central mm -hmm. Texas. Um, and so they pretty much keep the rattlesnakes in check and off the property. And so I don't like snakes, but 
I tolerate these guys. Like, and they, it's really weird because like coach whips kind of have a personality. Whenever I'm I'm you know drilling the field or brush hogging or anything like that, like I'll look up and they'll be like sticking their head up, watching me and following me, seeing what's going on and all this other stuff. It's really cool. Hmm. Oh wait, what kind of snake is that? A coach whip. And if you've ever seen a hog nose, those are really cool snakes too. They like, they like, I don't know, compress flat, lay flat and like make themselves look bigger and puff out, but Mm. they're really cool. They're not like Mm. aggressive or anything like that. Mm.